Hi, it's Amy and Tim from Go With Less. In today's video, we are gonna share how we turned a canceled flight to Europe into big bucks. I hope you're gonna stay tuned. How much did we make, Tim? $1,030.58 deposited into our checking account in US dollars. Already, so we're gonna share the story behind it and hopefully somebody you know can use this tip too. So our story starts with the United Airlines flight that we booked using frequent flyer points from Denver to Europe this summer. So part of that itinerary involved a flight from Chicago to Vienna, Austria on Austrian Air. So the, the nice thing about the story that we're going to tell you, it doesn't matter how you booked or paid for a ticket, if you have issues with anything to do with the flight going to the EU or out of the EU, there's a chance that you're going to be eligible for some reimbursement if you have issues. Whether or not you paid for the ticket with cash or with frequent flyer points. We're going to talk about on that. On June 1st of this year, we were sitting on an airplane on Chicago's tarmac getting ready to take off for our transatlantic flight to Vienna. There were several delays while we were sitting on the tarmac and finally we heard something come over the loudspeaker and we understood one word. Kaput. Kaput. It turns out, in, in German, it turns out that the engine was having trouble and so they canceled the flight. We, I was actually quite happy. I would rather have the flight canceled than find out over the Atlantic that the engine went out. So even though it was kind of a pain in the butt, I'm happy that we were grounded. So after the kaput incident and everybody's off the plane, this was a big full plane by the way, uh, everybody had to be rerouted and so we waited in line at the airport or we were at the airport dealing with the, the issue of getting rerouted to our ultimate destination which was Krakow, Poland. We waited there about eight hours uh, dealing with the frustration of this. Ultimately they fed us, they put us up at a hotel uh, in Chicago and then we got on a flight the following day. But a very frustrating experience nonetheless. So the fact that we made it to Krakow the next day, we were just happy and satisfied that we got to Europe and we just had to deal with a little frustration and 24 hours worth of delay. I knew vaguely that there were some EU regulations in place uh, that mandated that carriers provide certain co amounts of compensation depending upon the delay that you experience. And so I'd heard about this and then a few weeks into our trip I read a story about an app called AirHelp that's available on iOS and Android. Talk about good timing for that article. Yeah, no, no doubt. That said uh, they can help you filter through getting compensation from carriers when you have issues. And so I downloaded the app and proceeded to fill out all the, the details. And the details are pretty minimal. It's your name, your address, uh, your record locator, just stuff that they can identify the flight that you're on, and uh, press go and hope for the best. Hope for the best. I thought this had to be a scam. How is this going to work? That Who's going to take care of this for us? Well, it turns out that AirHelp gets a piece of any compensation you receive back, and they take care of all the confusing waters and legalese and situation with these international airlines for you. So they take a 25% cut. We were looking to maybe get like $10 back and thought that $7.50 might be great and they would take $2.50 and everybody is happy. So first I thought it was a scam and second I thought that if we got anything it would just be a few dollars. Since we weren't out any money at all, we didn't spend any extra money by our delay except for our one day um, delay on our vacation, an inconvenience, that's it. So there was no money out on our end and we weren't looking to be recouped for expenses that we were out. So I took a look at the EU rules after the fact, after we'd already filled out the, the uh, air help form and just to understand what's going on and so just to see how confusing this stuff is and what sort of uh, mountain I would have to climb to do this on my own. I don't think it is, it's not crazy complicated, but it is complicated enough that I was happy to pay a fee just to let somebody else deal with this. And so um, some of the things that I found is it looks like the, the most compensation you would ever get would be 600 euros, which is by the way what we ultimately ended up with per Each. person. And, uh, and then something else is the, the flights that, are, any flight that originates in the EU uh, is eligible for this compensation model. And if you are flying to the EU from a non-EU country, if it's an EU provider, then also uh, you're gonna be eligible for this compensation. And there's a whole plethora of, of other rules. The nice thing about this AirHelp app is it doesn't matter what the complexity is like, they sort of sort through all that for you and just make it easy. Um, so ultimately, Amy and I were, we were given Austrian Air paid 1,200 euro 
to air help and we sub subsequently received this $1,030.58 in our checking account uh, from, from these guys. So something else of note is that I had no idea if they were going to pay us in euro how we were going to get this converted to U.S. dollars. That was another complication that air help simply took out of the equation. So that was another nice thing. So And also I want to mention that you can go back three years and file a claim. So this is not something that we, we were afraid that we were in Europe for six weeks by the time we got this claim started. Six weeks, no problem. Three years is what you have. Yep. And so I think you can start filing claims, by the way, if you've, if you've been delayed two hours. So if you have a two hour delay, you're eligible for a, a compensation. And there are, again, there's lots of rules here. So it depends on the nature of the delay, et cetera. But uh, amazing. This is incredible that we received this money. Um, I, I don't know what more to say. AirHelp has been amazing when it comes to communication. When Tim first filed his claim in the early part of July, they sent emails that said, your claim has been received, your claim has been submitted, your claim is eligible for maximum payout, which is 600 euro per person. And finally, your claim has been, we have your money. We're ready to send you $1,030.58. Please send us your bank routing number. I'm like, this is the world's most involved scam. And we are going to be stuck here in Europe with no money in our account because we just gave them our routing number and they cleared us out and it was a scam. Well, Tim had an account that he was getting ready to close. It had no money in it. So he gave them that number. Well, the air help says they have uh, about seven days that they generally take to make payouts. And within 12 hours of that first email and Tim filling in the bank routing number, uh, we had the money in our account. Tim was asleep for the night. I woke him up. I was like ready to dance around the bed. I could not believe that this came through. So we are about as happy with air help as anybody can be. And while we are super duper like DIY people and cheap, 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 cheap budget travelers, this was that 25% was money well spent. I don't know that we would have been able to get that money on our own. If you are traveling to or from the EU, you need to have this Air Help app. So the, if you experience any issue longer than two hours, then these guys are there to help you. And it seems to me like they're going to do a great job of getting you compensation if you're eligible. And so I would go download this app today if you're on your way here or if you're on your way out of Europe or if, even if you traveled recently, like Amy said, I believe within three the past years. three years. That's not recent. They can go back and they can look and find uh, the details on those flights. If you had any issues with flights that were delayed longer than two hours, I would ask these guys to help you. That's right. And if you have any, can you please post this on your social media? We are travel hackers. We are major travel people. We had never heard about this. When we put this out on our social media, no one mentioned anything about this. So maybe this isn't so well known. We were scared that this was a scam. This isn't. So please share this with people. And we are posting daily videos from our nine week experience in Europe on a budget. You can subscribe down below. If you like this video, please give it your thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, please answer below. This whole thing is very nuanced, so we're not experts in this at all. That's why we used Air Help. Um, and if you would like to share that, we would appreciate it so much. Like I said, I think this is something that lots of people should know about. Anybody coming to Europe should know about this. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully we see you again soon. Thanks.